use a hole punch for the fantasia. So beautiful. I love that I used a really pretty, like a nudey kind of base, just so that way it's really soft and really forgiving and easy to work with and to combine with pretty much everything. And then we have Rose Love. So this is very like kabuki, old school Japanese. Um, mahogany rose fantasy and this big sticker right here what's so cool about it is you can take your scissors and cut whatever piece you want and put it on the nail so you can really customize it and create a really unique dope design this is art graffiti because I love me some graffiti inspired phalanges super dope with some denim so sick this is yellow and orange flowers. So again, giving you the real flower fantasy in a sticker format so that way it's easy to put on. This one is called Big Fun. I'm really vibing this one. It's just fun. And I wanna say super random, but I think that's what makes it special. It's also very Harajuku, pink monster restaurants for the fantasy. Did I hear you say there's going to be a 10XL stiletto? Yes, you did hear correct, but it's going to be a little while before she is 100% ready. Probably not till December or January. This one is called Ride Hard. This is giving you the Ed Hardy vibes biker babe fantasy. For the girls. Black leather bikini on top of a Harley Davidson fantasy. And last but not least is Royal Mirage, giving you the luxury, birdie, tropical, tomorrow sticker fantasy. You got some nightingales, you got some flowers and some butterflies, giving you the island nation of Guam tropicalness. Shutting in these stickers beautiful. So, which one do you guys want to see today for the fantasy? I feel like a like a tarot card reader. Let me read you your fortune. Your nails are gonna be snatched. There is your fortune. So which one should we do today, you guys? Should we do the roses? Should we do the Japanese looking roses? Big fun, graffiti, some Ed Hardy styles, mirage, or the yellow and orange flowers? Whichever gets the three first. Oh, the gas just came out. I see one for the roses. I see two for the rose. Hold on one second. I see roses, roses and gold. The wedding stickers, the yellow. I would like a teddy bear and plaid look. You can most definitely do that. We got stickers with teddy bears and with plaid. Roses, mirage, roses, roses. Ooh, the girls love their roses. Japanese, yellow and orange. I think the constituents want the roses. So we'll do the roses then. So we'll save these for next time. So we'll put these away. And we got my extreme square ready to go. So we're gonna give you some bridal rose fantasy today. Let's use happy gel in, not happy gel, I lie. Let's use DIY gel in clear today. You know, usually we use fantasy pink, but let's just use clear today because she's right here. And I already have my peel off base coat applied. Give her a quick little freeze. How was your guys' Halloween? Did you guys get lots of candy? Legit, I swear, this was the first year in my life I'd ever seen my dad ready to pass out candy. Like, he was ready. He had this whole, um, Oya. What's the word in English for Oya? filled with candy 
and he was ready. He was waiting for the kids. Nobody showed up. I felt so bad. It was like the one time in his whole life that he wants to pass out candy. Nobody shows up. Because my dad, when I was a kid, I remember he would be like, no. Like as soon as I was on trick or treating, he would turn off all the lights. He would make it seem like the house was vacant. He didn't want anybody to come knocking on the door. But I think it's because the outfit of our house is kind of dark. That's why we probably didn't have any kids go by trick or treating. They were probably like, why is that man dressed like an orangutan? Or like Bigfoot. I see bling that thing for you is here by from Flash Dancers in Times Square, the premier gentleman's club in New York City. If you guys want to check out Bling That Thing for you, just go down to Flash Dancers. That nice square wheel this. And let's bake her for one minute and send her dad's and darling last. are interesting. I never known how to use, so I always like to. Ooh, I can't see it too much going. I know my poor dad. Hi, Max. Hi, love. I'm doing okay. How about yourself? So she's done baking with the extreme square. Oops. I'm going to leave my fantastic file to shape the sidewalk to the end. And again, I apologize, you guys, if I can't get to every single comment during the snatching of the phalanges. boxy, straight square. It's so sick. And when you do something with a lot of design work, it looks so dope. Beautiful. Just to blend in that cuticle. 
really gently. that blend for Phil. So lovely. And all the new stickers are also on the website for you guys. Then I'm going to take a smoothie buffer just to make the top surface shine of the nail. Because I'm going to be using, I think something not too, not too, too, too heavy for the base. I want to keep it light because the design is kind of heavy on the sticker. Maybe the minty shiny would be pretty as the base. What do you guys think? white base gel. Beautiful. It almost gives the nail like an ivory kind of look. So chic. Pretty and so natural. Let that self level out. And we're gonna bake it for about 30 seconds. Inside the Barbie Darling. I want the dad and the I like using this one because she's in the room. So we're gonna keep it fresh with all the noodles. Oh, 
Where it comes from? So elegant. Ready for Bojangles with these guys. So something really clean, very natural, very everyday. A little bit of tutu plain. So now we're gonna use the new rose, the stickers, wedding rose. What's so fun about these is that you can really customize them, have a lot of fun with these fantasies. So the first one we'll use is, let's go in with her. And you can see the holographic silver printed on there too. I'm gonna place it right here. Get my silicone tool. them you can apply them pretty much any position you want they don't have to be the same each one it really comes down to having fun because remember at the end of the day that's what nail art is Double French tip.
I apologize if we can't get to every single comment. Sides are nice and smooth, even. Take off that little piece of actually peel off paper of what it is. Curious. And then for the pinky, Shoot this lovely triangle one. We are not done yet. No. We've got to bring her out too.
the plenty. Here we go. BB one ninety nine. Make sure there's no dust, and make sure everything is really, really pressed down firmly, okay? Beautiful, beautiful color. This is from BB Ombre Satin, which is matte gel top coat mixed with glitter. So beautiful. So this is velvet mixed with glitter. You're having a war over there, Ignacio. The queen of the party scene, you guys. I've never seen somebody party so hard like Marissa. Actually, no, I take that back. I think Darren parties harder than Marissa. Oh, it's done. Let's turn this around. Let it self level out. I'm going to it for one minute. And then we're going to get our diamond sorting tray. Let it bloom out today. Pretty over matte velvety. So elegant, right? So chic. Let's put some diamonds in here. And I really just want to dump this whole thing in here, what do you guys think? What was going on? Did I miss something? I love it. Nobody asked you, sweetie. Oh my gosh, what did I miss? Larger stickers. Oh, I thank you. I appreciate that. She's like, thank you for adding stickers I've never ever seen before. I try. Oh, somebody doesn't like the sound of the tape gun. That noise. Ombre, the ombre gels. I got lots of videos, but there's lots of different things in the ombre line. Lots of different fantasies. 
How can somebody not like the sound of a tape gun? That's the sound of orders going out. Fantasies being fulfilled. Fantasies on their way to their new, new homes. Just do it right here on the lid of the diamond memories. So we're going to use my hot diamond gel to apply the rhinestone. And then I'm going to use from the vegan four pack liner gel brushes. I'm going to use the hot pink one to pick up where I'm going to put the gel. So this one's going to go along the smile line. Did you turn on? That's weird, maybe because it wasn't turned on in a few days? Oh, I think the power went out yesterday. On half of the building, which is really weird. And I'm only putting gel where I need the diamonds. diamonds on wherever you want to put the diamonds and this one I'm gonna put some big ones too I'm gonna take from the fairy stones I'm gonna take one of this pink one Gonna go 
go all out today with the quinceanera parents and email but I didn't get one back yet It's not in the scent folder? Okay.
not that I call my ass. She said, don't eat it. Eat what? I feel like I need a little bit more pearls. So I'm gonna add a bigger pearl here. Do you guys think we should use one or two? I mean, uh, gold or silver? I see one for gold. One for silver. Two for gold. Whoever gets three first. Gold all the way. Okay, let's have some gold. See, it really fills in the gaps and finishes off the composition of the design. Quick little freeze so that we don't go anywhere.
this just really finishes off everything that makes it look so chic and elegant. So especially for like super detailed work like this. The best part is these diamonds are not going anywhere. ready to bake for one minute inside the dancing garden or the barbie darling lamp lamp out here i'm gonna bake this fantasy and i'm gonna put these away because you guys know me i'm the biggest clux in the world and i would drop it and then diamonds everywhere diamonds all over the floor and gloria's not here today so that would not be bueno
so pretty into the lake. Get that. Princess Anastasia wedding realness. Fabergé egg wedding. And let's apply a little bit of cotton candy cuticle oil to keep everything nice and hydrated. Get a good look. Very rough, Princess Anastasia. Let's see what should we use for the for the base? Oh, it's Love it. See, aren't these stickers fun to use? Wow, very pretty. And it just looks so intricate too. Ooh, these would look really pretty also. On top, maybe like stiletto or like an ovaly kind of nail. So beautiful. And the gold baby mini pearls really dress it up too, don't they? They're amazing, thank you! Now you guys have an idea on how to play with these stickers. Have some fun. Doing shiny, doing matte, it's up to you. Well, my loves, I hope you guys enjoy this little demo. Thanks so much for joining me. And I'm glad I'm back today. I'm glad I feel better too. It was the worst. Exhaustion is not fun ever. And don't forget to visit enocouture.com for the best nail products in the universe. And I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, everybody.